Jerry at Fair Oaks. How far is it from here, McLeod? Oh, uh, about another half mile to the road where we turn off. All right. Boys. Uh, yes, sir? When we get there, I want you to stay in the car until everything is over. Oh, gee, do we have to, Mr. Wallace? Well, I realize, of course, that you're anxious to see your friend Harold, but I can't allow you to endanger yourselves, just in case we run into some fireworks. Fireworks? And I, I mean a little gunplay, Jerry. Oh, okay. That other car right behind us, Linwell? Huh? Oh, yes, Mr. Wallace. About 100 feet from us. All right. Now, let me see. It's about 8.45. The other car will be just about arriving at the Hazlitt farmhouse. What other car is that, Mr. Wallace? Well, the boys and Mr. McLeod told us that Corporal Dent figured out that the cabin we're heading for is really an old outbuilding on the back part of the Hazlitt farm. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah, so you're sending another bunch of government men to sneak up on the cabin from the other direction. Is that it, Mr. Wallace? Yes, Lee, that's right. We'll cut them off from making any escape from any direction. Mm-hmm. I'll check up on them right now. Check up on them? Uh, how are you going to do that, Mr. Wallace? Well, our cars are equipped with two-way radio, Jerry. Oh, gee, that's well, isn't it, Lee? Mm, I'll say it is. Calling Knox in car five. Knox in car five. Come in. Okay, this is Knox. Where are you now, Knox? About 150 yards from the front gate of the Hazlitt farm. All right. When you get up into the yard by the farmhouse, stand by the car until I give you the word to go. Okay. Golly, isn't that keen? Yeah, better take it a little easy along here, Taylor. Okay. Yeah, and turn off your lights now. Yes, sir. Uh, that's the road uh, right up there, Mr. Wallace. And we turn left, is that right? Uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's right. right. Okay, uh, take it slower than you are, Taylor. We want to be sure the other men are at the cabin when we make the catch. All right. Here's where we stop, Mr. Wallace. Yes? All right, Taylor, pull up. Yes, sir. Linwell, I think it's best that you stay here in the car with the boys. Oh, but, Mr. Wallace... I realize fully, Linwell, that you two are anxious to see your boy. But with the game leg of yours right now, it'll be too difficult for you to move quickly. Well... I'm sure it's best. Well, all right. But be sure to let me get to him just as soon as you can, won't you? You bet we will. Come on, Bradley. Shaw, uh, Merrick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right with you. Uh, where did you leave Corporal Dent, Mac? Uh, right there in that clump of bushes, uh, about 50 feet up the road. Very well. I'll call Knox and tell him to start over toward the cabin. Knox, in car five. Yes, sir. We're on the side road, about 150 yards from the cabin, I judge. Yes, sir. What time have you got? Uh, exactly 8.52 and 30 seconds. Right. We'll make the catch at exactly 9.5, okay? Okay, we'll be there. All right. We're starting up the road right this minute. See you later. Come on. Right. Now, uh, keep it quiet from here on. Oh, oh that must be Dent. Here we are, Corporal. We'll be right with you. Say, did you bring the government men? Oh, yeah, 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 I see him now. Uh, Mr. Wallace, uh, this is Corporal Dent. He's been standing watch here for us. Glad to oh, meet you. How do you do? Uh, what's been going on, Corporal? Oh, not a thing, no, sir. They ain't so much as moved a toe out in that door since that man went in about a half hour back. Good. All right, you uh, want to join us, Corporal Dent? Join you? 
Say, you couldn't keep me out in this skirmish with six transports. <laughs> That's fine. Come along, men. Easy now, men. <laughs> Listen. Yes. An airplane. Look. Look, he's heading this way. And see red and green lights. Huh. That's funny. What do you mean, funny? Well, that there's the first plane I've ever seen over this part of the country this time of night. It is, huh? Well... Wallace, down quick. Oh. Yeah. Somebody coming out of that cabin. Yeah. He's got a flashlight. Say, he's signaling to the plane up there. You mean that blinking on and off is signals to that fellow in the airplane? Yeah, it looks very much like it. Yeah. Now the pilot's flashing his landing lights on and off, too. Say, that's Morse code. W. H. E. R. L. N. D. Where land? He wants to know where to land. <laughs> Well, I don't spell so good, does he? He's just abbreviating. Oh, ach, I look to know that man there is running over to the pasture. You're right, Mac. That's where he's going to tell the pilot to land. Yep, that's it. See, he's signaling. Four dots, it's H. One dot, E. Dot, two dots, R. Here. Now, now the fellow in that airplane signaling back. What's he saying, Mr. Wallace? Oh... Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, gentlemen, I guess we're going to have another visit. Going to wait for him, Wallace? You bet we're going to wait for him. But, but what if he doesn't land before 9-5? The other boys will be ready for the catch. Well, we'll just have to take that chance. But it looks as though he is going to land. Yep, here he comes. He's got his landing lights on again. Yep. He's leaving them on, too. Say, he'll never make it in that stubble over in that field there. Uh, I don't think he will, either. He's coming in too fast. And no matter what he does, everybody keep quiet. Look! He's nosed over. Oh, oh, Losh, that airship's on fire. Wait, quiet, everybody. Let's see what they do. They're coming out. They're all running out of the cabin. I, I wonder if they'll be able to save the man. Yes, yes, they're pulling him out. Let me see what time it is. I don't know whether I can see my watch or not. It, yes, the phosphorus shows up all right. It's it's just four minutes after nine. One minute more. That's right. Hey, fool! Stop shouting like that! Bring Kutza in here, quickly! Get in, get in. you fool! You fool! Mr. Wallace. Yes, Mac? That was the man, the man who was in my store when the boys discovered he had a fountain pen. Yes, yes, I understand. In other words, that's, that's Yorga. Aye, that's the name Yorga. Well, it's the zero hour, boys. Ready? Right. Yeah, ready. Okay, come on. Now, wait. Quiet. Up these steps. What do you want? Oh, so you're Alexander Yorga, are you? Stand up. All right. Frisk every one of those men there. Uh, where's the lad? Where's Harold? Is Harold in here? Mac, Mac. Oh, Harold. Oh, Mac, where's my dad? Where's my dad? Oh. Oh, no, there, there, Harold, you man a weep like that. You're a man, my lad. You wanna hear your father see you with tears in your eyes. I don't know what you're talking about, Mac, but, but please, is my dad here? Oh, he's here, Harold. Come with me, I'll take you to him. Mr. Wallace! Just a minute, Mac. All right, stand all those men up against that far wall. That's right. Well, Mac, uh, oh... Well, is this Harold? Why, this is Harold Linwell, Mr. Wallace. Harold, uh, this is Mr. Wallace, the government man who directed all the goings on, which brought us here to rescue you. Hello, young man. Hello, Mr. Wallace. Uh, Mr. Wallace, will it be all right with you and your men if I take Harold uh, down the road a piece to his favor? Uh, you bet it'll be all right. Uh, just a minute, though. I want Harold to identify a couple of men here. All right, let's have it quiet. Quiet! Uh, Harold, uh, which one of these men here took you out of your father's cottage tonight? That one. That one there. All right, you. Step out. What's your name? Kajina. 
Oh, to mean Kajina. All right. Now, Harold, which one of these men drove the car that brought you here? That's the man. There. Oh, Mr. Yorga himself, huh? <laughs> Harold, you don't know how honored you were. <laughs> you and your men are extremely clever, Mr. Wallace. You, uh, you know my name already, do you? Of course. It is my policy to know the name of everyone with whom I am doing business. Hmm. May I congratulate you, Mr. Wallace? I do not know how you discovered us so quickly. A few moments more and we would have been out of your reach. Momentarily, at least. I don't think you would have been very far out of our reach, Yorga. And uh, why not? Well, in the first place, your plane caught on fire as your stupid pilot landed in that field of stubble. And in the second place, one of Harold's friends, Lee Phillips, a cadet from Fair Oaks Military Academy, removed the distributor ahead from your automobile about half an hour ago. Mm. You'd have had a pretty tough time trying to drive that car. And I'm afraid you wouldn't have gotten very far walking. I see. At least, Mr. Wallace, we did no harm to the boy. Uh, did they, Harold? Did any of these men hurt you? No. No, they didn't hurt me. They just scared me. Well, that's quite fortunate for them. All right, Mac. Take Harold down to his father. You'll be pretty glad to see him, won't you, son? You bet I will. Okay, see you later, my boy. All right, Mac. Uh, Bradley, take them back into town. Yes, sir. Uh, Amen. Come with me, Harold. Yes, oh, oh, wait a minute. What's the matter? Where's Corporal Dent? Oh, here I am, you crazy old coot. What's been keeping you? Uh, Harold, this is Corporal Dent. You hadn't met him. No, no, I haven't. How do you do, sir? Oh, oh hello, Harold. You, well... Uh, well well, uh, what are we waiting for? Let's get this boy down to see his father. Hey, come on. Uh, your father's been muckle worried about you, my lad. Gee, heavy. McCloud, of all the crazy nincompoops I've ever met, you're the worst. Uh, what, uh, what are you talking about, Dent? I Harold. just. Oh. Harold! Is that you? Dad! Harold! Oh, Harold. Dad! Harold. Dad. Harold. All right. Son. Son. Come here, boy. Oh, Dad. Dad. Uh. Well. Uh, what do you say to getting us all back into town, Mr. Bradley? Sure. The car's waiting right here. Come on. Mac. Hi. Corporal Dent. Jerry and Lee. Yes, yes sir. sir. You don't know how much I want to say. Well, that... Oh, you know what's in my heart. I don't really need to say it, do I? Uh, no. No, no, there, there's not to say, Mr. Linwell, except... Well, uh... Aye, old McLeod does have something to say. McLeod? Uh, your is... mouth looks better closed, Corporal Dent. <laughs> What were you going to say, Mac? Uh, before I was here, rudely interrupted, I was going to express the opinion that it would be a hearty thought to stop off at McLeod's ice cream parlor for a double chocolate nut sundae. Oh, 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 oh